This video explains how to find the second derivative using implicit differentiation. And that's what this term right here means, the d squared y over dx squared. That is the second derivative. So it says find d squared y over dx squared, or find the second derivative of x squared plus y squared equals 25. Now just like with normal second derivatives, you have to find the first derivative first. So if we take the derivative of this equation using implicit differentiation, we get 2x plus 2y dy dx is equal to zero. Then we subtract the 2x over, and divide both sides by 2y. The 2's cancel, so we end up with negative x over y as our first derivative. So now that we have the first derivative, we can take the derivative of it to find the second derivative. So to take the derivative of negative x over y, we're going to need to use the quotient rule. f will be negative x, g will be y, f prime is negative 1, g prime is dy over dx. You get f prime times g, well wait a minute, this is the second derivative, because we're taking the derivative of this, that's the second derivative. We get f prime times g minus f times g prime. Now because of the negative with the x, it really makes it positive. We divide the whole thing, sorry about that bell, divide the whole thing by g squared. And once we get to here, we only have one step to go. We cannot have dy dx in our answer. So we need to replace that because we know that dy over dx is equal to negative x over y. So the only step we have left is to substitute negative x over y in for dy over dx. So our final answer will be that the second derivative is equal to y plus x times negative x over y all over y squared. Now there is some simplifying you could do there, but don't worry about that right now.